Hi ladies, now that you've seen the official application video, I'm going to show you my favorite application method. To start, make sure you've properly prepped your nails, paying close attention to the invisible cuticles right down here. Uh, you can see I have also painted my nails using Jamberry Strengthening Base Coat, the Real Zing Lacquer, and Quick Try Top Coat. Uh, before applying your wraps, uh, make sure that you have washed and dried your hands to help remove any excess oils. I actually used a non-moisturizing dish, uh, dish soap today to just clean them up. Uh, the tools that you'll need will be as follows. Uh, some just alcohol and a cotton swab. Uh, I use tweezers or an orange stick, scissors, cuticle pusher, nail file, and nail clippers, and of course it wraps. Uh, this pattern is actually um, white chevron. Okay, so you will start by taking your alcohol um, or acetone. Um, I'm using alcohol because I have already painted my nails and you will just wipe the surface of the nail to make sure that you can remove any excess um, oil from your hands. Uh, next we are going to open our wraps see they come on a sheet like this um, from here I will take my orange stick I will kind of peel up the edge you'll see this one already was cut uh, but from here I would do kind of a midpoint and then grab the scissor and snip. Uh, you can also use the tweezer this way. Uh, the main point is you do not want to get any extra oils uh, on the back of the wrap. So from here you're going to line it up at the cuticle line and apply. Okay, we're not going to press anything. Now we do need to add a little heat. Um, there are different heat sources you can use. I'm going to show you with a hair dryer, which I'm sure most of you have, as well as the Jamberry mini heater. Um, please bear with me, it's going to get a little loud. So I applied some heat, now I'll take my cuticle pusher and apply pressure to the base of the cuticle and up to the tip. Then we grab our heat again. You only need bursts of about three to four seconds each. And we will do the corners and it's just heat and pressure heat and pressure heat and pressure and now we do the top corners And don't be afraid to push it over the edge so that way you can make sure you have a great bond on all edges of the wrap. 
if you do not have a cuticle pusher, your thumb works just as well. So just make sure that you apply heat and pressure. Okay, so from here, obviously I don't want all that extra on the top. So this is where I'd grab my nail clipper or my um, nail scissors and just trim it down. So there you go, you'll see it is basically applied. There is another step that we're gonna do, but I am going to show you now on the right hand using our mini heater. Uh, this thing is great, I'm gonna turn it on right now, and you probably won't even hear a thing, but it does get a great temperature for your nails. Okay, so again, on the right hand, we will again grab our alcohol and we'll do it on the pointer this time. Again, just to remove any excess oils that uh, we might have gotten from touching our hands or touching our nails. So I will now apply that again just want to slide under, grab your scissors, trim it, should pop up, perfect, and again we're going to, sorry for the angles, I'm a righty. And you lay it down, okay? Then you apply the heat. You'll see that it will start curling. And then again, you start from the base and do a line up and down the middle. Because I'm a righty, I usually do the right hand with the thumb because I am not ambidextrous. God bless all of you that are. <laughs> okay. And then corners. Uh, there is another heat source that you can use. You can also use um, an iron. Uh, I would be careful with that. Uh, just, I know I'm a little clumsy, so I would hate to have one of you burn yourselves by doing that, but it is another quiet method if you need it. So we have that on. I'm going to shut off the heater. Grab the trimmer. Clip. What's great about the trimmer when you're doing this is it really will get you as close to your nail as possible. Um, so there's that. The final step, once your nails have cooled a little bit, you will want to take your nail file and in a 90 degree angle, just pull straight down to get any excess. Um, if you do not want to do this, by all means, just clip it a little bit lower, uh, and that's fine too. You'll see there's some excess that comes off. And it's just being stubborn. And then the other side. And there you go, ladies. I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, this is probably the easiest method that I've found. Um, it works with all of our finishes, uh, especially our satins and metallics, which are much thinner and need a lot less heat. Uh, but you'll see, even with our standard wraps, um, it works really great.
So thanks.